All right, welcome back. Welcome to this forecourt film for this absolutely beautiful 2014 BMW 640D Grand Coupe. This is the top of the range M Sport model. Uh, it features the twin turbo uh, diesel, en three litre diesel engine in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, it's about 313 brake horsepower, I think, um, and just drives exceptionally well. It's absolutely laden with incredible um, features uh, all the way around the car, which I'll, um, I'll sort of talk you through now. Um, so in terms of the sort of overall condition, it's all absolutely beautiful. This is the sapphire black metallic paint. Um, it's all been recently detailed and waxed and everything like that, um, and looks absolutely stunning inside and out. Um, so in terms of the sort of features, we've got the um, LED uh, fog lights down here at the bottom, as well as the LED daytime driving lights and the xenon headlights. Uh, this car's been optioned with the 20 inch alloy wheels, which really set the, uh, set the car off um, beautifully, looks absolutely, looks absolutely fantastic. These are in extremely good condition, only a couple of uh, very, very small, like uh, tiny little chips um, are sort of present, so obviously not this sort of thing wouldn't really um, warrant uh, refurbishing. Um, but so, uh, but overall, they're all in very, very good condition. We have uh, power folding door mirrors on the side. We have the high gloss shadow line that comes all the way along the side of the car. Um, obviously, 20 inch wheels again at the back. And just to show you, I don't think there's a mark on this one. Absolutely perfect condition. LED lights to the rear. This is the Grand Coupe version, obviously, so it's, uh, it was, it's the, for the, uh, the four doors. Round to the back, got twin exhausts, uh, LED lighting to the rear as I mentioned, and you see the bumper here, all in absolutely beautiful condition. There's uh, no, uh, no dents or marks or anything like that, other than just probably a couple of very, very light marks just where probably something's rubbed um, as it's been put into the boot or something like that. It's just right on the edge of that line. Um, it's not gone through the paint or anything, it's just a, a tiny little bit of wear, as you'll see. Round to this side, again, pretty much a perfect alloy wheel. No marks on that at all. All the way down the passenger side, no dents, scratches or marks. Absolutely perfect mirror housing. And then the front wheel, again, very, very good condition. A tiny little bit of just surface corrosion down there, uh, just on the top. Um, and I think that's pretty much it on there actually. So again, a couple of very, very slight marks, but, um, but that really is it. Uh, the bonnet itself, again, tiniest of um, small sort of stone chips, as you'd, um, as you'd expect for, for the age and mileage, but again, nothing excessive. And overall, the condition is absolutely beautiful. Windscreen all in good condition. And all the glass and everything like that around to the right. is all very lovely. So you've got an automatic boot lid. Uh, can be uh, done off the key. Internal condition, absolutely stunning. You've got a through load here for longer items. Um, I suggest skis, but I really wouldn't take this car skiing. It would be hopeless. Um, and again, we come down the driver's side. Again, you'll just see all the panels all in beautiful condition all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it's powered by a um, twin turbo diesel engine. Um, sounds silky smooth, really nice six cylinder note. And, uh, and also um, gets you superb economy as well, which is really nice. Um, through to the inside. So um, one of the, my sort of favorite uh, items on the six series, whether it be the Grand Coupe or the, the two door coupe or convertible, is the sort of extended leather that you get here across all the top of the door cappings. That continues all the way around um, the top of the, uh, the dashboard. So rather than the sort of normal plastics that you would get in a lot of other cars, you get this absolutely stunning leather that follows all the way through to the back, all across, it's all really lovely and soft, um, all the way through to the back and all around the sort of dashboard area. That's been uh, complemented with sort of nice white stitching, which looks, um, looks really, really lovely. Uh, you've got the single piece sport seats in the front, uh, both of them fully electrically adjustable uh, and, and memory on both sides as well. And then um, even though you've got three seat belts, I wouldn't really fancy being stuck in the middle, but um, certainly very comfortable for two adults. And then you've got the pull down bit in here. And then this is for your through load through to the boot area. 
storage area here, cup holders are in the back for the rear passengers. And then you've also got heating, heating uh, vents and controls and everything like that in there as well. Um, back seats are in absolutely beautiful condition. No marks to the leather, uh, no sort of kicks to the um, to the seat backs or anything like that. So all in absolutely fabulous condition. So yeah, jumping in, you've got this sort of digital cockpit in here, uh, which slowly comes to life. A fully keyless start system. So you just, as long as the key's on your person, then you can start the engine. You've got the wonderful, chunky three sport, uh, three spoke M Sport steering wheel. Again, all in great condition. Automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers. Uh, the car sort of features this full black panel display here. Um, so depending on what um, driving mode you're in, uh, this will also change up here on the on the main screen, uh, which is great. Really, really easy to see uh, see all the information that you need to, and you, you'll also get things like satellite navigation instructions and everything that come up on there as well. So uh, very very nice interface. Across to the main screen, you've got this enormous um, screen up here. This is. Uh, this is basically where you control all of your satellite navigation and your media, um, as well as a sort of overall control panel for the car as well, so you can change all the settings in here. So um, for the entertainment section, we have DAB digital radio, as well as FM and AM um, stations. And then we have all your connections for your external devices. Um, most of them, uh, most people would, would probably just use Bluetooth streaming, as we can see here. Um, direct from their phone you can uh, stream things like Spotify uh, podcasts even things like YouTube and all that kind of stuff or you also have um, multi sort of connections and everything like that down in here um, as you'll see in the armrest but like I said most people would would um, stream using Bluetooth from their um, from their phone and everything like that without having a, a hardwired connection um, but obviously you do have things like auxiliary and, and USB should you wish um, this main screen here can be a, f a full DVD player uh, so that you can watch movies when the car is stopped. You also have something called a music collection which is an onboard storage hard drive uh, for storing music. You can just download those directly from a USB um, or in fact from a CD and store them in the car uh, for later use. And then through to the main menu here we have, this is where basically you have all the setups for, for, um, for all of your, 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 your displays, um, all of your sound and everything like that, um, how long the lights stay on for on the outside um, and, uh, and things like that. So basically you, the, the main kind of setup part for the, for the car is all in here and there's, there's plenty of different things for you to be able to customise and, and play around with. Um, and then vehicle information. If we pop through to the status area here, um, if the car had been uh, had driven for sort of half a mile or so, it would have generated um, tire pressure readings, um, and they, they can display up on here as well, so you can actually individually see exactly how much pressure is in each tire. Um, and then you come through to the servicing area, and this will um, give you the sort of breakdown of what needs to be done next in terms of your servicing requirements. Uh, so we're currently in November 2020. Um, the next service due would be a brake fluid service in October 2022, um, at the same time um, as the next engine oil and sort of vehicle checks and all that kind of stuff. So you've got absolutely no servicing to be to be done on the car um, for another two years. Um, the uh, front and rear brake pads have just been changed, um, and they are both sharing 40,000 miles each in terms of where, uh, obviously depending on how you, how you will drive the car, um, will uh, will determine when those, when those um, pads need to be changed as well. Um, so that's all your sort of servicing bits. And then you've got sport displays, which is a, um, a gauge, which I've no idea why that you need this, but it's, it's quite good fun. Um, and everything else, like the on, online handbook and everything like that is, is, is on there as well. Um, you've obviously got connections for your telephone in terms of uh, voice calls. And then we also have uh, satellite navigation. This covers you for the whole of Western Europe, also contains things like traffic reports and everything like that. Um, the, in terms of sort of inputting data into the, into the sat nav, uh, the car actually has handwriting recognition, so you can, you can scribble on this, um, on this touchpad uh, to, uh, to search for a location or something like that. But a really lovely, easy to use um, system. Um, and uh, like I said, it, it'll come up and, and reroute you if you need to for, for traffic. Um, and you can use it all the way through Europe. So um, yeah, very, very good feature to have. Um, dropping down on the inside, we have your controls for your start-stop as well as the um, the engine uh, starting and stopping down there. And then um, down at this section, this is all of your climate controls. We have uh, dual zone or three zone climate really, um, driver and passenger, and then separate for the rear as well. Um, those can be changed easily. And then you've also got three stage heated seats as well, which is really nice. 
and then all your controls down here, your automatic handbrake, parking sensors. We have uh, front and rear with the uh, with the sign up here as well that um, will come up come up and show you which individual um, parking sensor is being used, uh, and then also the different driving modes as well. So go from comfort up to sport, and it sort of changes the the major sort of characteristics of the car. Uh, other bits and pieces in here, a decent sized glove box and everything like that. So we'll see up in here. Again, all this beautiful leather continuing across the top here. Ashtray and then a decent size storage area, all with uh, beautiful in, in, uh, LED interior lighting, which uh, which sort of carries on throughout the car as well. But yes, I think you can, as you can see, the uh, quality of the leather and everything like that is all in absolutely beautiful condition. Really, nothing to um, to mention there at all. And even the driver's bolster, only so showing the, the the smallest amounts of wear on the side there as well. So yeah, really, really stunning condition all the way around. Uh, we've got brand new rear tyres on the car. Um, we've literally just put those on, uh, so they haven't even done a mile yet. Um, and then also um, very, very good uh, tyres on the on the front of the car as well. So uh, absolutely nothing for the new owner to do for quite some time. Um, I hope you found the video useful. If we can help with any further information, uh, if you'd like any sort of additional close-ups and anything, then please do let us know. Um, or if we can help with any finance figures or you have a past exchange to value, then please let us know through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, obviously, get you down for a test drive and, um, and see what you think of the car. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.